Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to add reflections to sunglasses in any photo that you may have. I'm using this one here of Justin McCartney because, well, it's going to work for this effect. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm going to first start off by going up to the tool section on the right side, selecting either the lasso tool, quick selection tool, or magic wand tool. Whichever suits you is fine. I'm using the lasso tool because it's easier for me, but you may have other preferences and that's fine. So, you want to zoom in quite far, just so you can get the left side of the um, person's glasses first. You're going to work with the left, and then go to the right. Trust me, it's easier that way. Okay, so, you want to go and select around the perimeter of the whole glasses. With the uh, lasso tool, I have to go around the whole thing, but with the quick slash tool and other tools, it'll be a lot easier with one click. But, for this photo, it didn't really work that well, so I had to use the lasso tool. Anyway, so... I'm just going around the whole perimeter, and you want to make sure that you don't miss anything, you don't want to catch anything, so make sure you try and get it all perfect. Um, if you're off by something, that's fine, but try and make it as perfect as possible. Okay, so once you've got, a, got your selection made, um, you're going to go down and create a new layer. Select the new layer button, layer 1. And with that now, you're going to do a control alt backspace and make it black. Or control, alt, or control backspace, whichever, wherever your black is in your swatch. Okay, once you have your that all done, double click on layer 1, and we'll name these layers, by the way, as we go on, alright, to make it easier. So you're going to add an inner shadow on that layer, and you're going to just change the um, angle, the distance, and the size. The choke is always at zero, so never change, but that's never really changed much, so just keep that where you got it. Okay, click OK and you're good. You won't see this effect quite yet, but you will in a minute. Okay, so now you're going to want to open another photo, um, the one you want to use for the, refl the reflection. I'm using this one here of me and some friends, but use whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to move it around and place it up top so it's near the glasses to make it easier on myself. Okay, so uh, when you have that done, and place where you want, click on Layer, and then click on Clipping Mask, or do an Alt Control plus G. That will work too. Alright, and you see now it's in the glass, or the eye. And then you want to do a control T and just resize it to whatever you want. Alright, and move it wherever you want to put it in the, um, for the reflection. That doesn't really matter. So, alright, I got mine set where I want it now. So now, you want to hold the control button and click on the thumbnail of layer 1. That way you have the selection again on there. So then you're going to go to Distort and then click Sphere Eyes. And you're going to make these selections here. Make sure it's horizontal only and the amount is 30%. And then click OK and you're good. And that gives it the glare or the, or the sunglass look, sort of. Well, there you go. Okay, so you have that all cool, cool now. Um, but we're just getting started. <laughs> we're not even done. Okay, so then you want to duplicate that layer that you just had. It's going to look like that again, but what you're going to do now is add a clipping mask to that layer, which is Control-Alt-Click or Control-Alt-G. Either one way works. Alright, then you want to go um, and rename your layers, just so it's easier for you when you get to the right side, so you're not mixed up which is left and which is right. That's why we're doing it. So yeah, just makes it much easier. Right. And you can do this ahead of time as you're going along, but I just did it right now because I thought of it right now. Alright, now the top one, the, the copied layer, is now called Multiply. And for that reason why, you'll find out, because we're going to multiply that layer. So that's why it's called Multiply. It will then look dark, like that, but you can um, change the opacity to whatever you want. I'm changing mine to 50% right now, and for me it's still a bit too dark, so I then again went and rechanged it back down to 43%, which lightened it a bit. So it looks okay right now. I like it the way it is. So now, um, after that's all done and cool, you're going to go and right click, control click on the left lens again, the, the thumbnail, and you're going to add um, another new layer. And the new layer we call highlight, or left highlight, I should say, since on the left eye. And then you're going to go in your granite tools, and you're going to make sure it's selected at white transparent. And then on the left or right side of the glasses, the left or right side of that, that left side, well, you see what I mean anyway, you're just going to add like a little glare 
on the left or right side, whichever your preference is. I'm using the left side because it looks awesome that way. But whatever's fine for you. And you'll get that. And then just zoom out and see if you like it. And if you don't, do Control Z and then just redo it. It's totally fine. So that's basically all there is to that effect. Um, basically all you gotta do is do those steps but on the right side. So I'm not gonna show you the right side because basically it's the same thing and I'm just be wasting your time. <laughs> no, I don't wanna do that. So um, yeah, just redo what you just did on the, on the right side and you're good to go. And yeah, so this is my effect right here. Well, yeah, right there. That's what mine looks like right now. Um, I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, anyways guys, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe like I have always said. Alright, thanks, bye.